Hello again, this is Falcas with the tenth and final part of the tutorial how to manage the data transfer cartridge using Weapon Delivery Planner. This tenth and final part will talk about the Weapon tab and as a couple of previous tutorials. Also the Weapon tab data is only saved away in the callsign.ini file. For the weapons we have a couple of settings. One of the settings is for the air-to-air -air weapons. As an example you can set the AM9 spotter scan, the AM9 Tango Delta Bravo Papa and for the AM120 you can set the target size. For the air-to-ground missiles we can switch on or off the auto power on function. The auto power on has a couple of settings you can choose for example north, east, south or west of a specific steer point like steer point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the missile will auto power on if you use this above or north of steer point 3 and then we have two air to ground bomb profiles they are used for dumb bombs but also for laser guided bomb profiles both bomb profiles have the same type of settings but you can preset different settings so you can quickly switch to profile 1 or to profile 2 in the cockpit the first setting is the sub mode or actually your delivery mode that you want to use you have the four options of CCRP, CCIP, DTOS or LAT the fuse could be tail, nose or nose and tail at the same time. Dropping in singles or pairs. The spacing if you are dropping multiple bombs. The release pulses and the release angle. The release angle is always above the horizon. Then for the bombs you can set arming delay 1 and arming delay 2 and for cluster bombs you can set the arming delay and the burst altitude above ground. Also for this tab we have a backup. We can quickly load some default setting and as with the previous tabs like EWS and all the other stuff do never overwrite the existing files that come with your weapon delivery planner installation because they contain some defaults that you might want to use later on. If I open up the defaults you probably recognize numbers but you also want to be able to use your own profile. So as an example I just put in a couple of values and save those. For example in profile 1 we want to use uh, CCRP fuse nose to tail but we want to drop in pairs and we'll use a spacing of 250 feet release pulses 2 so in the total we drop 2 pairs of 2 bombs with a total of 4 bombs we set the release angle to 0 an arming delay of let's say 2 seconds second arm delay of 2 seconds and in case we're dropping cluster bombs we want to have a little bit more spacing two and a half seconds and a burst altitude of 2000 feet these are just some examples we can then save these settings and make a backup I'll personalize these so I call them Falcas and I save them now we have stored these settings and we can quickly load them up if needed. So an example I first swap again to some default settings. You can recognize the four to six seconds here. Or I can quickly switch to my personal settings. And there you have the personal settings that I saved before. These changes only apply if you save the data transfer cartridge by using the save DTC button and do watch the green button lighting up after saving. 